Hey YouTube, it's David with Sunny Mountain Prospectors here in Colorado Springs. You may also visit us at sunnymountain.net. Anyway, today we are uh, setting up the uh, miners, gold miners, spiral gold panning machine. Uh, <clears throat> I unpacked it the other day and you can kind of see the setup here. This is kind of the rear view pump. Alrighty. Uh, usually it comes in this Rubbermaid bucket and sets up as a three gallon recirculating system. We're processing quite a bit more and I wanted to kind of really get a good idea of what's going on. So I put it out, put it up on a stand and uh, set it up with a mortar tub here. Um, we're running some of this material today, which is a combination of tailings, uh, stuff that have already worked. So I don't anticipate a lot of gold in this uh, material. The gold that we will find is going to be super fine stuff. So what we want to do is set up the uh, gold wheel to capture really fine gold. Now, what I've found is that if you want to capture fine gold with a gold wheel, the, uh, you're going to have to allow some black sand to climb up to that wheel. So let me show you what I mean here. So you want to feed this thing. Oh, just a few ounces every 10 to 20 seconds. You can actually put it more than that. And I want to show you the black sand that we're going to be going through. All right. Now, as that works its way through, it's starting to agitate. Let's go over this real quick. So the spray bar. What I'm looking for on the spray bar is just enough liquid to just push down some of the black sand here. Okay. This guy here. Um, which is your, oh boy, I forgot what they call it. Anyway, um, you want that set, let me give you an angle here, okay? Right about there, all right? So what it does is it agitates all of this action here, and if you have it set wrong, what'll happen is you'll have material that goes all the way up the spiral wheel. So this is pretty important. Um, it's gonna agitate and really a lot of the gold is being picked up on the second spiral wheel, so you can kind of see right there. Uh, so it's going to agitate, it's going to pick it up, and then it's going to start walking the gold up and whatever other material you have up there. So, so you see here, I'm not seeing a whole lot of black sand that's walking up. And actually there is very, very little, which is perfect, kind of what I want to see. So let's see if I can zoom in on it. Okay, you see it? So we're talking a few granules are being thrown into there. Now you can run this where there is no black sand that's moving up there. And a lot of people will use that for uh, kind of clean gold cleanup. My experience though has been that if you want to capture very, very fine gold, uh, you will have to have some black sand going into the, uh, the drop cup, all right? Not a lot but just a little bit, okay? Let's see if I can get another angle for that right, for you. Okay. So now, to adjust this, so find a water level that you're comfortable with, okay? Again, you can kind of see, we're not going too nuts. If you want to really, you know, turn it on, you know, what happens is it, uh, you can kind of see that's, that's as high as I'm going to get it, okay, which is going to wash some more of the black sand down, but I'm going to find a spot where I'm kind of happy, where it's not doing too much splashing again, just enough to wash out some of that sand, so it looks good to me, right. and then, if you want more sand, what you're going to do is you're going to use this micro adjustment bar. So here, I'm turning, turning it counterclockwise, I'm making this steeper. Right? If I make it steeper, fewer black sand. If I want to flatten it out a little bit, I go clockwise. Okay, That's going to flatten it out just a bit. And it's going to allow the sand to walk up. Um, the black sand and the gold actually to walk up the spiral. So you see just a few pieces of black sand. That's exactly what I'm looking for 
Let's go and rinse more of this material. Now this unit comes completely packed in this Rubbermaid. Okay. Um, it's very compact. All right, we had a malfunction. So uh, as I was saying, this unit comes in the Rubbermaid bin, uh, very compact. It all flips over, fits inside of here. You know, it mounts on the grooves here. Um, and it'll run, you know, a fair, fair amount of concentrates, okay? Um, perfect for on the go, for prospecting, get your cons, bring it home, process it in the evening if you want to. Uh, a lot of folks are actually traveling with this, so if they're heading up to Alaska or some other location, they want to um, work their cons right away, perfect solution for it. So, all right, so let's take a look at this. Again, we're looking for a little bit of black sand to just creep up that wheel. Okay, there we go. see some of it. All right, just a few. That's perfect. Here's the little catch cup, and you know, not very many. So this is good. So we're gonna add a few more, a few more little scoops. And again, I'm feeding this a lot slower than what we need to. You can actually. So the gold miner spiral wheel is going to run $299.99. Uh, it's a perfect addition for any type of bolt cleanup. Uh, I use it. I'll either use a blue bowl, which I like quite a bit, or um, you know, I really like this unit. It functions very well. I do like uh, how we can adjust with the levels of material that we're bringing in there. Again, if I wanted no black sand at all, I can do it. I experimented with this last night. And if I uh, didn't bring up any black sand, I actually found golden tailings. But user error, um, I also had this guy, you know, pointing down this way. So I think it was kicking gold out. Because um, if you look at this, it shouldn't. If you look at that angle. Okay, it's a pretty steep angle for gold to uh, to drop out of. I'm gonna run the rest of this material. We're gonna come back. and I'm gonna pan out what we have again. I'm not expecting much um, gold. If I do have a lot of gold, that means I did a really crappy job of cleaning my concentrates from earlier this summer. So, uh, but this is a good test because I know that there is gold in here, right? Uh, and I, but I know it's very, very small. Um, so we will be back and um, with part two of the cleanup. Okay, so we just got finished running. Uh, that bucket of inventory, <clears throat> or material I should say. Uh, overall, went by pretty quickly, uh, given the amount that we were, we were actually trying to move. So now, we're left with the very last stuff, and you can kind of see how dark that stuff is. So most of your heavies are there. You do have some blonde. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna make it a little, make that incline just a little bit more steep. And here, when you, see, when you do that, so you'll see the black sand go from here and then it starts to really concentrate here. So the steeper it is, the further it falls. Um, if you're using, well, here's, here's what I'd recommend. Classify your material. This was unclassified. It was classified down to an, uh, an eighth, I believe, an eighth of an inch. Um, but like anything else, uh, if you classify it, you're always going to get better results. And it's probably going to uh, work quite a bit faster. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and shut it off. I'm going to pan uh, what's in here, okay? Shouldn't be much in there, but I'm kind of curious to see what might be left. Uh, some folks I know will tilt it back and then collect all of the black sand that way. It's a good idea. Uh, it's not going to take much to pan that. But out of that whole bucket, here's kind of what we're looking at. Let me stop, stop the machine real quick. All right. But let's see, what is that? Let's see if I can get a reading here. to balance it out it's about um, 15 mils so not a lot okay so we're gonna pan that out uh, which is our super concentrates if you will we're gonna pan this out and we're gonna get uh, let you know what we actually find so unfortunately I can't pan and run the iPhone together um, pretty good at one-handed panning but it's a little you know <laughs> gets a little awkward so give me a second I'll pan this out We'll pan that out and I'll show you the results uh, of the gold miners spiral wheel. 
All right, YouTube. So we finally finished cleaning out the spiral wheel and we ran, you know, probably about a half a bucket of dirt. Now, as I mentioned before, I knew that there was not going to be a lot of gold in there. Um, interestingly, though, there was a spot here in Colorado and the gold has a real kind of bronzy look to it. Uh, so I know exactly where this, where the, uh, these concentrates came from and it wasn't that good when I, when I dug them. So um, what I did is I went ahead and panned the small cup, which would be here, okay? I panned what was in the wheel, which would have been here, okay? And then I panned, I panned all the, all the tailings. So I took the whole bucket that was in here. This was all the stuff that was being caught, panned it all using a Angus McKirk um, production pan. So, it, which by the way, I'll do a different video on that, on the uh, production pan, but um, this pan can get through a ton of material and down to black sand um, really quickly. So very, very effective. I'm, a, I'm starting to become a big fan of it. Anyway, different video, uh, Angus McKirk horseshoe pan. You can get that at sunnymountain.net. One of the very few people that have them. So anyway, back to this. All right, so tailings, all right? This is all the stuff that half a bucket I got it down pretty fine, and I want you to see, look at how fine some of this black sand is. Let's see if I can get a nice zoom on there. So my, I really took it down. And if there's gonna be any gold in there, I, I would have found it, I promise you that. All right, so here's the stuff from the actual wheel. And you can see the black sand's gonna be a little bit more coarse. I did not find any gold in the tailings. That's good news. I did not find any gold in the wheel, okay? That's good news. I did find three little specks of gold in the cup. That's it right there. I wish I can zoom in on that a little bit better, but it kind of gives you an idea of how, how small that gold is. Uh, this pan is, is pretty small. So I have a coin here somewhere so you can kind of, so you can see. Oh, let's see if it's a... Got a dime. Here's a penny. All right, so it kind of gives you some, an idea of how small that gold is. All right. So the, uh, the cup, the wheel did work. Um, again, I knew that there was not going to be a lot of gold in here. So, uh, because I worked it pretty, pretty well, but that's the gold we found from the cup. That's pretty fine stuff. Um, and we went through a lot of material, just about a half a bucket full, to find those three pieces. Again, there was no gold, and I worked this over and over again in the wheel itself, okay? And no gold in the tailings, um, which means that we're running, running it correctly. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video presentation of the Gold Miner Spiral Wheel. Uh, again, we just don't, uh, sell stuff here at sunnymountain.net. We actually use it quite a bit. Um, so if there's a video that you want to see, uh, or if you have any questions, let us know. Again, this is David at Sunny Mountain Prospectors here in Colorado Springs, or visit us online at sunnymountain.net.